I'm being thing. forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're not criminals! They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, man. don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Why are you doing Oh, man. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Middletown, Connecticut, where we find the Long Island Frauditor who just doesn't know when to leave well enough alone as, as he returns to a place where he had a bit of a problem. Oh, it's been over a year ago. One of my first videos I did on this Yahoo. And uh, yeah, he wants to do a FOIA request now. I don't know why these guys want to do FOIA requests in person. It'd be much safer, if you get my drift, and more efficient to do it online. But they want to go to the scene of their mm, exploits, as we will say, and win the day. Well, let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! Before we get started, I'm just going to say this was one of the first videos I ever did on Sean. You can tell how old it is because I did my thumbnails much differently back then. But, uh, yeah, Sean was real close to getting a serious smackdown that day. Yeah, he was real close. This guy on the right was just fed up with him because Sean told him to get back to work. And he took that uh, the wrong way. Yeah, so Sean's return to the scene of his, uh, well, it wasn't a crime, but it was a crime for him to be there. No doubt about it. Let's check it out. Today we have returned to the Connecticut State Police Headquarters here in Middletown, Connecticut, or should I say Corrupticut, where I was assaulted by Sergeant Brian Fahey right outside these doors here. He broke my camera, assaulted me and pushed me all the way towards this flagpole. Despicable. Go watch the original video. It will be in the description below. We came back here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment rights as well as do a FOIA request for his disciplinary record. and to see if we can run into him and ask him if he's feels sorry for what he did because we tried to hold him accountable through internal affairs they investigated themselves and found wrong no wrongdoing as well as criminally through the connecticut state's attorney's office and they didn't do anything either so hopefully we can run into him if not we'll just do our FOIA request and exercise our rights again i don't understand why not just make this FOIA request online you'd save a lot of money I can only imagine how much money Sean spends driving around. Yeah, he takes a plane here and there, and then he has to rent a car, you know, a motel room. I mean, what? Yeah, what? Okay, so you have the money because you're obviously making it, but why are you spending it on stupid things like going in person when you can do it online? Yeah, it's just for clicks and views. 
But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so before we go around to the front of the building, let's take a look around the visitor's parking lot here, peacefully exercising our First Amendment right. Are you calling me? I can't hear you. Do you need help with something? Yeah, can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, it's 854. And your name? I'm Trooper Keo. Trooper Keo? Yeah, what do you 854? need? 854? Yeah. No, I don't need anything help with anything, okay. Trooper. Well, Appreciate what are you out here doing? Oh, I'm just taking a walk around, that's okay. all. And why are you recording? Aren't you recording? Yeah, but I have to. I choose I'm to. I'm interacting with the public, so I have uh, to be recording. And I choose to because I'm interacting with a law enforcement officer. But you've been recording that we've been having reports of you out here for a while. Been recording Re reports of around. reports of someone recording. Being suspicious walking around because this is a a building with important people and things in here. Well, pardon me, trooper, but Sean's an important person too. Just because he gets arrested every once in a while doesn't make him any less important than anyone in that building. Now you go back in there and tell your superiors that, or Sean's going to file a FOIA request on your entire record. So are you important because you have a uniform no, I'm on? No, saying not me. Well, who's important that's because inside of this building? A crowd of people in there. Yeah, who's important? Civilians. So oh, it, here, it wouldn't be the. It wouldn't be they the. They are coming here asking why there's. This is a the Connecticut State. This is the Connecticut State Police headquarters, correct? And they're asking why you're recording. We have civilians coming up to me asking why a man is recording. They feel uncomfortable. Civilians are coming up civilians, to you yes. asking why. Yes. I'm recording because yes. it's suspicious. Yes. How is it suspicious? Because you're recording in a parking lot. Do you live here? Are you here? For I don't a reason? live in the parking lot. No. Are you here for a reason? I am here for a reason. What's the reason? I don't know if I want to disclose that to you at this point, just because it might compromise what I'm working on here, but what's so suspicious about a man recording? You're in a, an area that's public, which you, you are free to be, but you're recording and making it look suspicious. So you're, you're being a threat to the civilians that are coming up to me and complaining about you. I do apologize, Trooper, but this man is gathering content for his story, and he can't divulge that right now because it will compromise his story. He's a member of the press, ma'am. Can't you tell by looking at him? He's a member of the press. We the people. So because I'm, let me just get this straight, Trooper. So because I'm recording, I'm a threat to, your, to your very important people that are inside of this you building. You are being suspicious. To my civilians that I protect on a daily basis, yes. I don't think you met the the, the, the two civilians that are inside. No, I, think, I have a line of civilians. I have more than 20 people inside of just civilians that I, don't even work for the state. Yeah. But they came up to me and said that they feel threat by threatened by you recording because you look suspicious. So you came out here to, to do what? To ask you to leave. Why? Because you're making the civilians feel uncomfortable. Let's move out of this woman's way. You're making the, the the people in this in this building feel uncomfortable. They are coming here to get their pistol permits or fingerprints, and you're making them feel uncomfortable by recording. You yes, you look suspicious out here recording, so they're reporting suspicious activity. Okay, and you're responding to that suspicious yes. activity. But I don't Why understand. Is that a problem? It, I mean, it, I think it's a problem because there's nothing su suspicious about. It is a man recording in a parking lot. Why are you doing that? Well, Trooper, because he's uneducated, unemployed, and has no job prospects. He got fired from his job as a warehouse manager during the COVID crisis, which is hard to believe. But now he's taking up frauditing. He's for we the people. He makes a pretty good living at it, too. Well, that's why he's out there in the parking lot. He wants to get a negative reaction. Now, I tell you what, they're going to go round and round and round. We're going to have to skip over this because I'm going to get a bloody headache. So let's get to the part where he finally goes inside the building. And yeah, let's get to that part, shall we? Five minutes later. <laughs> Hi, sir. How are you? Hey, how are you? You already told me you didn't have anything here. Oh, yeah. I just got to do some FOIA requests and things some of that nature. A FOIA request for your body camera footage and... Sergeant uh, Brian Fahey's uh, disciplinary record. You can have to send it in, in, in writing. Yeah. Who's the guy behind you that you hold? I have to conduct, I have to conduct uh, business here, Sergeant. Sir, what can we do for you? Come on in. Oh, you're the Sergeant of pistol, pistol Permits, aren't you? Come on in. Sir. Excuse me, sir. You have to get sir. out of the way. Sir, I know, me, sir, I know your inclination is wanting to assault me, Excuse Sergeant. Me, sir. Stop pushing me. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying you to get in the building. You can't come in the building. You have no business here. I do have business here. Stop acting like a, like a, like a savage. What are you Back doing? 
At this point, most normal people would just say, okay, you know, I'll leave because this sergeant is clearly agitated, right? And I'm not sure if he's a sergeant. He could be a lieutenant. But at any rate, um, something is wrong with Sean. Now, this is strictly for clicks and views. This is for his subscribers. His subscribers eat this stuff up. And that's why his view count is so high because they think he's a real hero. He's a zero. This guy has absolutely no common sense. Why would you fight with someone like this over entering a building? Sergeant Brian Fahey just took my camera yet again. The coward that he is. He just took my camera yet again and stopped it from recording. But the officer that talked to us in the parking lot, her body camera was recording. <coughs> We're going to make another internal affairs complaint on him. This is incredible. Right, exactly. It happened right over here, ladies and gentlemen. Right over here. Right here. Right where we're standing. Look at him. You can't control yourself. You're an animal. You're an animal who can't control yourself. You're disgraced to that badge. You just witnessed somebody get assaulted and their property taken from them and not do anything about it, Trooper. Is that standard operating procedure? Because there's the criminal right there in front of you. If you'd like to place him under arrest, Trooper. He just assaulted me and took my property and violated my First Amendment right. But no, these troopers aren't going to do anything about that, right? You know, I get it. It's all about the clicks and views. It's about building your viewership. It's about retaining the people that you have on your channel and giving them something to watch. But man, when you put yourself in harm's way, this is rather stupid. Did I say rather stupid? I should have said extremely stupid. I just don't understand it. I don't get it. You want to be arrested. Is that it? You want to be arrested again. All right, sir, you can come on in. Thank you. Anything in your pockets, go ahead and take out. So sure. Please wallet, put right over here. Is Sergeant Brian Fahey one of those important people that we're, that's in this building, ma'am? The one that you just saw assault me and didn't do anything about it as a law enforcement officer? In broad daylight. Can you put the cell phone down? You have to go through the metal detector. In broad daylight, ma'am. And then you're just going to sign in. You're going to put legal for your destination, okay? And we have the ladies here that are going to talk to you. Help you out with whatever you need. And I'm just going to have to hold on to the lighter for you, okay? Sure, you yeah. You can get it back at the end. Yep. So are you going to do anything about that They're assault you just witnessed? You. Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Now I wonder if Sean signed his real name or if he signed Benjamin Franklin like he did at the City Hall a while back. Yeah, that's why he got kicked out of the city hall, because the security guard looked at the signing sheet and noticed it said Benjamin Franklin, and then they wanted to see some identification. When he wouldn't produce it, he got kicked out. Yeah, remember that, Sean? That was funny. I liked that one. But he's still worried about this uh, alleged assault. Ah, he's so funny. Eventually. No shame whatsoever. So, Trooper, I'm, I'm going to be on my way in a second. I just had a question for you. So you're telling me, I just want to get it for the record, you know, for court documents, just have it memorialized here. You just watched a man assault me and grab my camera, interfering with a constitutionally protected activity. You're a law enforcement officer who took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Are you going to do anything about that? I saw you get in his face as well. So I did see So both you sides. saw me you get. You saw it on body camera? Yeah, the body camera. We'll get you the body can, camera, that's for sure. You can see that you, but you were there. stopped him trying to get you from entering. He I'm allowed you, to enter into the building. Told you to get a report, right? He told, he told me to, to submit something in writing. Yes. Yeah, I, but I'm gonna have a right to be here. They told you, but I have a right to come in here Is and conduct business. Thing? He has as no right to put their hands, he has no right to put his hands on me. You just watched a man, listen to me, you watched a man. I'm answering your question, do you want me to answer your question? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The only persons that are allowed to come in here is with an appointment, reports and records, and for the pistol, for first time pistol from everybody else we have to turn away. And what did I tell you I needed? Sean reminds me of a narcissistic sociopath mixed in with Karen tendencies. That's an apt description of him because he's always right. He's never wrong about anything, ever. Records, right? Well, records is not open today. It's only open Tuesday through Thursday. But somehow I spoke to somebody from because legal. Because legal wanted to talk to you. Okay, great. 
So what I'm saying is, how is this not? You saw a man put his hands up. Did I put my hands I on him? I saw a man telling you not to be in the building when you were not allowed to be in the you, building. Did you watch him put because his hands on me or not? Did he put his hands on me or not? Did not tell us that you had anything. Did he to do. put his they hands on me or not? After and then they let you in. Ma'am, did he put his hands on me or not? Once I saw you do what you did. Once, what did I do? When you physically tried to stop him, open the door. I tried to come inside the building because I'm allowed to, just like I'm not inside the building the right now. I, I'm inside the building. Is talking to you because they requested you to come so, in. If you didn't have an appointment, I just want to know. Listen, I'm going to be on my way. I'm going to be on my way. The As damage is. I was already context. assaulted. Did you watch? You watched him assault me. Are you going to do anything about you it? Yes or no? The video. Are you going to do anything about you it? See the video. Then you're going to be held accountable. Are you going to do anything about it? Yes or no? We're going to leave it right there, folks, because he just goes round and round with this trooper, and she's not going to admit to anything. Then he goes outside and whines and cries and belly aches to his audience. Oh, the poor lad. Yeah, like I said, this strictly for clicks and views, it accomplishes absolutely nothing other than viewership and money in his pocket. Well, I tell you what, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel like our buddy Sean here, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Long Island Frauditor. Why don't you find a real job, man? This, this is ridiculous. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh. Racist. Oh, oh. That's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Uh, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You're going to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. Stop recording me, bro. Put your hands on me. Really, no reason I'm really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy. This time you did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah, in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, jealous. she's right in my face, guys. You, you just me? assaulted me, ma'am. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, ma'am. No, that's the do. law. Salami hala handula, alu akbar, haknuikan da kra, ula wala pupatai.